Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kat, and for today, we have in front of me just an entire line of new makeup. And some of it is a little bit newer, some of it is like from a couple months ago, but it is all new to me, and so it's just a bunch of first impressions. And so we're just gonna jump right in, but it is an entire full face, and so I am super duper excited. To start off, we have a primer from Fenty Beauty. This is the first time that I'm trying their Pro Filter. Uh, primer. So that's going to be really interesting to see how that goes because I do have my favorite, the uh, Hydro Grip Primer from Milk, and so it's going to be kind of interesting to see how this one does. It does have kind of like a light peachish kind of consistency, almost like a little bit milky, um, very light. It doesn't look like it's overly heavy. Uh, smells almost exactly like their foundation does, and so very interesting that they have kind of that same perfumey scent throughout the entirety of their face product line. And so that's kind of nice. It doesn't feel particularly heavy. Um, let me see how that did. From what I can tell so far, it applied just fine. Um, so we'll find out once we get into some of the other face products. Uh, <laughs> if it has any kind of impact on there. I do know that I have a little bit of more dry skin, and so applying a primer like this, this is the hydrating primer, um, but I am used to very, very hydrating primers with the Milk Hydro Grip, and so this doesn't feel tacky at all. It doesn't look like it dried my skin down at all, but for me, usually the biggest test is when I actually apply my foundation. I'll be able to see if it dried out my skin at all, and so we will see that here very shortly because for the foundation, we are going to be using the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation, and so that is, I do enjoy several of the NARS foundations, and so I thought I would pick up this Soft Matte one, even though I do prefer some of their more hydrating uh, foundations like the, I think it's called the, the Sheer, glow or something like that. That's one of my favorite ones from them. And so this is going to be kind of interesting to see how this goes. And it just has like a little squirty tube there. So I'm going to put that on my sponge and then we shall begin. <laughs> I feel like it's going to go everywhere. Like how do I set this down in between the applications to the sponge? <laughs> I also hope that I got the correct shade because Usually it does a good job uh, with the shade matching if you're able to put in like a similar shade that you use from the same brand, but we'll find out. It's looking maybe a little bit off, um, maybe just ever so slightly a little bit yellowish, but that's usually something I can fix with like, um, like bronzer and things like that. I can smooth it out, but it does mean, oh yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's definitely a little bit dark for my skin tone, as we can see on my neck there, it's a little bit yellowish orange, so that's fun. <laughs> that's gonna be a fun skin day for me. <laughs> I do also have a tendency to apply my foundation a little bit rough, so ignore the fact that I'm like beating my face with my sponge. <laughs> All right, wow, okay. <laughs> so to start off with definitely not my shade, it is I would say not only leaning a little bit too much on the yellow side, the shade that I grabbed, but it is also a little bit too dark. And so I think it's like maybe a couple shades too dark because I had to blend it all the way down to my neck and um, I feel like I look ridiculous. So hopefully with the rest of the face products, we'll be able to tone that down a little bit. I can also say that as far as the formula itself goes, regardless of the color to it, um, it does seem like it is a little bit on the dry side. I mean, it's definitely a matte foundation, and so that's a little bit to be expected, but it is really accentuating my lines. And so, not a huge fan of that, just because like it's already creasing like around here, and then like across my chin. And as I was trying to blend it out, it was already drying very, very fast. So it was kind of like I was having to work against the clock. Um, so not quite sure how I feel about this formula. Uh, I might try it with the Hydro Grip Primer to see if maybe I get a little bit of a different result. Right now, I'm not hugely a fan of it. I do think, however, that this particular shade 
uh, once summer hits and I'm like maybe getting a little bit more of a tan, this would maybe work as a shade for me. And so not gonna uh, discard it just yet. I am going to try and see if I can get it to work once I get a little bit tan in the sun. <laughs> so next up we have from LYS. This is the uh, matte bronzer, the No Limits matte bronzer, and this is in the shade Motivate, which is the light shade. This is what it looks like, just nice and fairly typical bronzer, I feel like. I do kind of like the shape of the LYS like triangles because their blushes and their highlights are in the same type of thing. I think the only thing I'm not a huge fan of with this type of packaging is that like my fingerprints are all over it and I just opened it. And so that's that's not something I super duper like just because I, f I, I like when the packaging is a little bit cleaner looking, but if you buff that out, then they look super cute. So there's that. <laughs> I do think that this particular bronzer is a very good shade for me. Um, between one of their light and medium shades, uh, the Motivate shade, which is this one, um, I think for me, like if I had had the completely correct shade of foundation, I think that it would have been right on point. Um, but even with this, I think it's a really good shade for me. I do also have the one step deeper of a tone though that's the like light to medium one that LYS has. And so if I do start to get a little bit of a tan, then I can probably dip into that a little bit. But I think that this blended out really, really nicely. And so, so far no complaints on that one whatsoever. I think it's a really good shade if you were wanting just a natural kind of bronzed look. Um, it's certainly not something where I feel like I am overly chiseled. Like, I think I look very normal. It's a nice, natural shade. So, really like that so far. And then, for the blush and the highlighter, I have two cream products. So we're going to be dabbling back in cream, but before we do that, I do need to fix my eyes real quick, and so I'm gonna jump in the concealer. And this is not a first impressions, it's a second impressions. Um, this is from Glam Shop. This is their concealer that they have. I've used it one other time, but it was like a month or two ago, and so I don't remember if I liked it or not. And so we are going to retress, uh, retest this out to see if I do like it, and it's definitely in comparison to this foundation going to be a lightning <laughs> concealer. So there's that. Well, so far as I am blending in uh, around my nose, that layered beautifully <laughs> and actually looks really, really nice on top of this foundation just because it, it kind of removes a little bit of that, that yellowness. And so I think that helps out quite a bit with brightening up the skin. And so, and it is layering beautifully. It's not an overly drying texture. And so I think that's really, really nice. Yeah, like I just, that immediately kind of evened out the skin tone around my eyes so that it didn't look quite so weird. So I think that already has done heaps to help fix the face. <laughs> yeah, I think that did a really nice job of kind of brightening everything up. Um, although I do feel like just in general, um, my eyes still look a little weird, so I am very much ready to put some eyeshadow on. Because <laughs> as soon as I start throwing on like a full face of makeup, if I don't have any eyeshadow on, like something's amiss. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump into the blush first, and that is from Fenty Beauty. I grabbed one of their cream blushes, and this is in the shade Peach Face. So this is what this one looks like. It's a nice kind of orangey red, which I really, really like. And so for cream products, I usually just go in with my fingers. I don't really use a brush. And so I am just going to lightly tap on there, just get a little bit on my finger. And we will see how pigmented it is. Not super duper. So that is actually really good because for cream products, especially if you are like me and you don't use them very often, um, I have a tendency to have a really hard time knowing how much to apply before like it gets out of hand. And so like with the Rare Beauty blushes, I felt like it just <laughs> like half of a quarter of a drop and you were already just like super cheeks, right? And so this to me is much, much easier to slowly layer on as you so choose. 
And so I very much like this. This is, this is really nice. And it also doesn't seem like it's drying down super duper fast. And so that makes layering it and kind of blending it out a whole lot easier. Yeah, I think that's, that's a really nice kind of natural flush to the cheek. So I, this shade is really, really nice. I definitely like that a lot. I think that is super cute. I really like that shade. Like if you are wanting just a really nice natural blush, this is a great option. It, it has like ever so slight after putting my finger on it that you can see like a tiny bit of some gold shimmer that is just a, a little bit in there, which I think adds kind of that nice healthy glow to it, but that is a very easy to use, easy to blend out blush. So if, if you are looking to just start to dip your toe into cream products, I think this is a really, really good one to grab because that is not an overwhelming one at all and you can build it up really, really nicely. So I, I think that was a great buy. <laughs> All right, then for the highlight, we have Slime Light Hologram Illuminator Highlighter in the shade Space Face from Freck Beauty. That's a whole lot. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys have seen this. I believe they come in three different shades from Freck Beauty and they are a liquid highlighter. So I am going to give it a shake and then we will see how much that goes along with the rest of the look. <laughs> All right, so it has like a little opener there with like a tiny thing so I'm just going to slowly like that is what it looks like so far on my finger this is more of a purplish pink tint and so I'm going to mix it between my two fingers and then lightly dab and see how she does okay all right I think Kind of that's blending out like real real nice it's also layering with that blush beautifully so it's just giving like a little bit of like a, a little bit of a glow that has some purple bluish tints to it but it's not super overwhelming which is surprising because upon like initial application when you see it you're you're just like this is gonna be a lot you know it's gonna be like the kaleidos highlighters where you know people are gonna see you glowing but this ends up blending into the skin very nicely. So again, if you were just wanting a nice natural face, this is a really good option. Like, okay, I'm not mad at any of these at all. I had like some preconceived notions about like what these cream products were gonna do and this is very nice. I really like this, like it is, a supernatural look and it's definitely toning down some of the craziness of not having an appropriate foundation but I am really liking that so as far as like the face products go all three of these are really really good and I believe LYS also offers cream bronzers I know they for sure have cream blushes um, I have one of their cream blushes and it's also very nice but this bronzer worked great the Fenty Beauty cream blush is amazing Freck Beauty highlighter really surprised about that one I thought this was gonna like be way too much and that blended out beautifully so now we are going to go into the brows real quick because even though I do have them microplated, I went a little crazy with the foundation and so we're gonna need to fix that. <laughs> so for that I have from e.l.f. Cosmetics, this is their Instant Lift Brow Pencil and mine is in the shade Blonde. Makes sense. <laughs> All right, so this is the pencil. It is a little bit thicker of a pencil than some of the other pencil brow products that I have. So that's gonna be interesting to see how it does. Now, just based on how the first brow went on, I think I might have found my new brow product because I like my favorites up until now have been the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and then I also used the Fenty Beauty one but those are obviously like significantly more expensive than an e.l.f. product and I really like this formula it's not overly dry for a pencil 
but you're still able to be precise, but it looks so much more natural with how it blended in on there versus like some of the other brow products that I've used. And so, and this shade literally blends perfectly into the tattoo shade that I have. And so I think I might have found a nice drugstore priced brow product for myself. This is fantastic. Today's going to be a good makeup day. This is regardless of how the foundation started out like this is this is turning into a good makeup day for me i think <laughs> all right yeah i am very pleased with this brow product like that is almost a perfect color match to my brows and so that's already awesome in and of itself and like it it blended very very nicely into everything yeah i think I think I might have found my new brow product. This is fantastic. Don't you love it when you find something that's less expensive that works out really great? Like that is, this is a good day. <laughs> Cause I did not like how much I was spending on my brow products. And so that is fantastic. So next up, we have a whole bunch of things for the eyes. I have two different mascaras that we are gonna try out. I also have from Cursed Cosmetics, an eyeshadow palette, as well as two, is it two or three? What do I have here? I have a lipstick, and then I have, ooh, I have fun liquid liners that we might dabble in. And I do have two different lip products, and then I also have some of the cutest lashes that I have ever seen. So we're gonna be taking a hard look at Cursed Cosmetics, which is an indie brand that I am new to. They did give me a code, so if you like any of the products that I am using um, and they turn out great, you can check out the code that I have down below, uh, save you 10%. Um, and so that's, that's kind of cool to have that. But let's have a look at the eyeshadow palette first. This is the Spellbook, and it already gives you very much like that old timey Bell book feel. And then the shades inside are these. So very interesting shades on there. You do have three uh, different pressed glitters, your gold, silver, and bronze. And then we have a good mix of matte shades and metallics and what looks like maybe two satin shades. So really good mix. You can also make it neutral or very colorful. And it has kind of like a cute little Protected by moonshine, this set provides magic. May your brushes be charmed, may your wands conjure faces. May you produce a beautiful craft, may you design a binding spell, may they see the beauty within, may they feel the love spell. So that's kind of a cute little poem that they have on there. So I really like that. And the two liners that we have look like this. They are very standard looking on the outside, but then they have a baddie liner written on there. With a little bat. How cute is that? I love bats, and so I think that's super cute. So I have two different shades. I picked up the nice matte black one, and then we picked up a fun one, because of course we did. It is bright yellow. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That looks like it's gonna, we're gonna swatch this puppy. Ooh, it can be very, very precise. That was a beautiful thin line that it made. No bleeding with that one whatsoever. So let's have a, a quick swatch of Rooney with the black one, see if it's similar. Okay, so the black one is not quite as precise as the yellow one is. Like the yellow one, I do have to go over it a few times to really kind of build it up, but the black one is just immediately nice and opaque. Looks like very minimal, like not really, like the tiniest of bleeding, but yeah, hardly at all. That is really nice. You can kind of tell the only unevenness that you're seeing on there is because of my actual skin, like the lines in my skin, but it is not bleeding like it all. And then let's check how quickly it dries down. So I literally touched across both of them and there is nothing on my finger. So it has already dried down. I am now wiping it and nothing. So 
even just doing this, it's not smearing at all and there's nothing on my finger. So that is, that is a good liner. <laughs> all right, let's jump into this eye look and see what we're gonna put together. Am I feeling like color or am I feeling like neutrals? What do we, what do we think for today? I do kind of wanna try the blue shade that's right here. And I also wanna try this kind of silver metallic shade that we've got going on. And so I wonder if I wanna do like the blue and then into the black shade and then have the silver layered on top. The pressed glitter is scare me. I am not good with pressed glitters, but I do kind of wanna swatch the moonshine shade that is the silver. It is gritty, but it's not a rough gritty by any means. It is a nice soft kind of feel, almost like borderline like how powdered sugar feels. Like it is a soft glitter on there. And then that is this guy right here. And so you would definitely, if you wanna get it really, really nice on there, you would probably wanna use a glitter primer or a glitter gel just so that that way it has a really nice stick on there. But this is very pretty and it's definitely for a silver shade, it is coming across as holographic. And so that's really cool. Um, the other two do not look like they are holographic. They just look like straightforward, either gold or copper glitter shades. Let's go ahead and jump into the blue and then we will see how it goes. <laughs> So to get a good buildup of color, you do need to apply several layers, but that is also good if you are someone that is a little bit timid around color. I think that this particular formula is really, really good because you don't have to worry that if you accidentally dipped into the pan too much that the color is gonna go crazy. And so kind of the same thing as with the blush, you can slowly apply it on there without feeling like it's gonna get out of hand. All right, I definitely feel like the blue builds up really nicely into a very rich shade, and so that is great. So now we're gonna see how it layers with the black shade. Falco decided to jump in and join us for a minute here. So he's gonna hang out on the seat. He's like, your face smells interesting. <laughs> yeah, my sweet boy. He's gonna be my little cheer squad. Oh, are you tired, sweet baby? Oh, thank you so much. Good thing I didn't put lipstick on yet. <laughs> All right. So I think that the black shade blended in nicely. I'm also being a little bit lazy with the blend just because I know that I'm gonna try and put some silver on top on the lid and so I'm not super concerned about having it be perfect. But I think that they did layer. Definitely the black is similar to the blue in that you have to build it up. Like neither of them is a shade where upon initial application, you're gonna get this level of opacity. Like you do have to build it up for a little bit to get that. However, that being said, like I was packing it on my brush and I see two specks of fallout. So that is fantastic that the matte shades so far have zero fallout. One flick of the brush, is gone. All right, so I'm going to do the under eye before we get into the metallics. So for that, I think I am going to take the blue shade for the most part around everything. Okay, this is a very smoky look. <laughs> we, are, we are not doing anything light so far. <laughs> so now we are gonna go into the silver metallic shade and we will see how that layers on top. All right, I will say that the metallic shade did have a little bit of fallout, but also went on top of these shades absolutely lovely. I was just using my dry packing brush and it just went on top and it still sustained some of the color from underneath. And so I think that was perfect because it looks almost more like a black silverish shimmer and then a more blue shimmer on the front. So I think that's really fun 
with how it maintained some of that color from underneath. And so I really, really like that. So now, let's see here. I think we will leave it as is. We're not gonna do anything crazy in the inner corner. I'm just gonna leave the shades as they are. But we will go into the liner. And so we will go into the black liner for this one and just do the tight lining real quick. I might attempt to add a wing since we're going with lashes as well. I'm gonna risk it all, guys. <laughs> all right, I did try and do a little bit of like a tiny point in the front to do like a fox eye moment. The pro of me uh, having such a dark look is that you can barely see the wing that I drew on, which hides the fact that I suck at it. <laughs> So there's at least that. And then for mascara, before we go into the lashes, I have two different brands. So the first one that we have is from Stila. This is the Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. And this is just in the, I would imagine whatever their black shade is. Um, it doesn't really give a shade name on here. But this is a thicker brush. And so that is usually the style of brush that I prefer for the top lashes. And then the other one that we have, I just, mainly for the packaging, absolutely had to get it. And that is from Nabla. We have the Vicious <laughs> Mascara. And this is also just in their black shade, but it has the head of a panther on it. How cool is that? And it is heavy. Like, it's got some heft to it. And then when you open it up, the brush is not the style of brush that I normally go for. It's one of the silicone applicators. It's very, very thin. I will attempt to use that for my lower lash line, uh, but definitely this is not one that I would usually prefer because it's not a, a, a good brush for me, at least to get good volume. So for the under eye, I'm not a huge fan of how that went. It did get a little bit spidery on my left eye. Um, the right eye, it, it was turning out fine, but the left eye got a little bit spidery, as we'll see when I come in closer. But it did okay, and so I will throw on the top portion with the Stila now and see how that one does. And then I will throw on lashes after that. <laughs> All right, the Stila one I feel like did a decent job. It certainly added like some volume and lengthening, but it didn't do the curl of my lashes any favors. And so that's the only thing where I, I don't like a formula that's so heavy that it causes my lashes to like straighten out because I do have naturally curly lashes. And so that would be my only thing where I'm not quite as much of a fan of that. But as we go into the lashes, we'll see if that works in our favor or not. <laughs> so. From Cursed Cosmetics, the way that their lashes come is in these little caskets. Like, how cute is this? Just the cutest packaging absolutely ever. So I, I think that's absolutely adorable. Now, let's see if I can get it out without breaking it. Okay. Just a tiny bit difficult to get it out of there, but not too, too bad. And then the lashes that I got are their Maven lashes. And they are very, very pretty. Look at these ladies. That is super pretty. So we are going to throw these bad boys on and see how they do. These lashes are something else. Wow. <laughs> All right. So we have lashes on now. And uh, they are thick, thick ladies but also very beautiful. So if you are wanting to have lashes that are just like, that you can see from space, like these are your gals. Like, look at, look at how pretty, like how feathery they are. That is super duper nice. Uh, it definitely makes it look like I have almost only just black shadow on instead of like actually having blue on my lids. Um, but I think that's, <laughs> That's just the nature of the lashes, but they are stunners as far as I'm concerned. So now the last thing that we have is to do our lips. And I have two different shades. I have a very, very red lip and I have a more burnt rose beigey lip. And so the beigey one is in the shade Slay. The red one is in the shade Krampus. So they are a little bit more Christmassy themed. 
but let's go ahead and take a look here. Ooh, it smells nice. So these are also glosses. I just want to throw that out there. As we know, I am not a huge fan of a liquid lip. This smells almost like, like tricks or like fruity pebbles. It's a very sweet, fruity scent, so that is just delightful. And then the other one, Slay, let's see here. That one smells more neutral. Doesn't have a ton of sniff to it, but I think we're gonna go with the red. Like, we've got bold eye, we're gonna do a bold lip, we're just gonna do bold everything. <laughs> All right, that is a bold, bold lip. <laughs> I kinda like it though, like I think it's, it's, a, it's a very pretty color. Also, nothing on my teeth, which is added bonus. We know how much I hate that. <laughs> so I think it looks pretty nice. Um, I think it's a beautiful shade. Like it's, it's for a red, it has like a little bit of some sparkle in it that is more on like the pinkish side. And so rather than it just being like a blood red type of shade, it makes it a little bit more pinkish. So a little bit more girly, but I really like it. It's, it's not a heavy feeling. It's not a sticky feeling at all. It's not overly dry. It's like a really good light gloss. Like that is, that is really, really nice. I, I really like that. <laughs> I feel like overall, the majority of the stuff for today has turned out pretty nicely. The look is definitely deeper than what I was initially thinking that I was gonna go with, but I don't regret it. We know I like a bold eye on occasion. <laughs> and so I definitely think though, if you are someone that is wanting to experiment with colors, this is a really good palette to get because it does offer neutrals as well as those color shades. And so I think that that's a really nice mix. They had zero fallout and especially for blue and black shades, those are some of the hardest ones to wipe away. And so the fact that there just wasn't even any fallout to worry about was fantastic. And so I really, really like that. And I think that th the liners to me, I feel like could have been a little bit better. Like I couldn't really see the liner at all. And then on my lower line, it didn't really want to show up very well. And so I think even though it's swatched really nice on my hand, I'm gonna to need to play with it a little bit more to familiarize myself with that particular formula before I give like a real thought on it. But I think the lashes are super pretty. Like if I'm looking for a glam look, these are the lashes <laughs> that I'm gonna go with. And I think the face products, bronzer, blush, highlighter, awesome. I think they look absolutely beautiful. I don't have a problem with the the primer. I think it was fine. It, it neither here nor there really. I think that the foundation is one that regardless of the shade, it's very very accentuating of my skin like around my mouth and like my chin area and just looks very rough. Like it's not super smooth in that area. Um, and especially around like my hairline, it is very dry and a little bit cakey looking. And so I'm not a huge fan of that from the, the foundation. And so I think while there are other uh, formulas that I absolutely love from NARS for foundation, this soft matte one, probably not it. I think that the concealer from Glam Shop, after having used it again, I think is a good one. Very lightweight, blends in super easy. Love the brow product from e.l.f. Super excited to have a brow product that doesn't cost a lot of money. And I think for the mascaras, I have others that I prefer, especially the Stila one. Uh, it is... I mean, it's fine, but I can get drugstore ones for significantly cheaper that work beautifully. And with the Nabla one, I'm just happy to have it because of the packaging. And so regardless of how it would have worked on me, I wouldn't have been mad because I just enjoy the packaging. But as far as the, the formula itself, not a huge fan. I can't quite tell which of the two mascaras is starting to like flake onto my my like lower eye line but one of the two is and so i'm not a huge fan of that um it's starting to like get on my nose and everything um but either way 
I could do without either of them. I don't need to spend that much money. You can f get like from Essence an amazing mascara for like five, six bucks. And so definitely when it comes to mascaras, I don't feel like any luxury products are really worth it unless it's like with the Nabla one where you're getting it for the packaging because it's cool. Um, <laughs> so that's really my thought on that. I think the lip product from Curse Cosmetics is really, really nice. It still feels really, really nice on my mouth. Like, I, I really like that. And the packaging is nifty. And yeah, it just kind of gives a little bit of a spooky vibe. And that's my thoughts on all of that. But I would really like to know what you guys think of any, uh, all of this stuff. Have you tried any of it out yourselves? What were your thoughts and reactions when you tested it out? And I would love to know what you guys think of the look. I know it's a bold one for today. <laughs> Definitely extra smoky, extra glam, but I think it's cool. <laughs> so that's my thought. But I'd love to know down in the comments what you guys think of everything. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you did not, as we always do here. And if you made it to the end of the video and you've not yet subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe. Come join my family here on YouTube. We talk a ton about indie brands. We talk a ton about colorful makeup, swatches, all of the stuff. And I am trying to do some more full face makeup for you guys. You can see me trying out all different products, see how they perform. So let me know what you think of this video. And other than that, you guys just go have a good one.